I'm Nate Lampton, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, my IVAC automated uh, blast gates. So these uh, automated gates, I bought three of them on uh, my for my small system that only has five gates total. Uh, I only automated the tools that I use most frequently, the table saw. Uh, my miter saw normally lives right here. That's what that hose would connect into. And then over here, uh, the planer. So uh, this system, I've been really impressed by it so far. The uh, pieces of it consist of uh, the blast gates themselves, of course. Uh, and then there's a matching uh, clamp that goes on a wire from each device. So this is an example for the table saw. Uh, and then the wire doesn't actually run to the gate, it, it runs to an outlet, and then it communicates, the gate and the wire uh, clamp communicate wirelessly, uh, and they, they line up and match based on the inside of these uh, devices. They all have these little rubber plugs, and inside is a set of dip switches that basically identifies the devices. And the short of it is, is that you have to make the dip switches match between the gate and the the wire clamp, and then uh, they will communicate together. Uh, the third part, besides the clamp and the gates, uh, is the main vacuum uh, shut off, turn on and off. And so it is pretty typical that uh, this plugs into the wall, and then the vacuum plugs into it. And then I have a small, just one horsepower vacuum that is mounted on the wall and it's always left in the on position and the uh, automated switch turns it on and off. Uh, I also have this secondary separator lid uh, that also just fits on a, a standard trash can. And that's the short of the, the overall system. Uh, overall, I really think I'm going to enjoy this system quite a lot. Uh, so in action here, uh, I'll turn on my table saw here. Uh, what we'll see is that right now this gate is closed because uh, it has a little black dot there. Uh, and that, that's the actual plate of the gate. And then when it opens, there's, it's painted green on the other side. And the green means that it's opened. So I'll hit the on button on this. And you'll see over there in the corner the vacuum come on almost immediately. Okay, so the vacuum is on, and the gate has opened. I'm going to turn the saw back off. And what's happening right now is that the vacuum is continuing to run for 15 seconds. You can configure how long the vacuum runs after you've turned off the saw or whatever the device is. And so, like I said, this is 15 seconds that that vacuum runs for, and that's configurable. It defaults to five seconds out of the box, and I increased it. You can have it run up to 45 seconds, I believe. Uh, and then the gate over here, the gate continues to stay open for 50 seconds. And so that's going to take a little while before it actually completes. So... Hopefully I'll edit this out. Oh no, there it goes. All right, it's been a long enough talking that, uh, there you go. So the, the gates, they always uh, only close after 50 seconds. That is either, you can shorten it to two seconds, but that's not really functional. It's really only made for demo purposes. So <clears throat> that's it. Uh, I've been really pleased so far, like I said. Um, one thing to know about it is that every single device you hook up uh, it will require one plug for the wire clamp and another plug outlet for the blast gate. And so you can see here, like this is just two gates next to each other. They take up all four outlets. Um, the clamps uh, use USB, which is helpful in my uh, opinion, but the gates just use it at a usual uh, wall wart here. So what I could do, of course, is, you know, I could just use a power strip and separate all of these. 
uh, I can consolidate these two USB ones just by using a, a, a double USB plug. It w would have been nicer if this all would have been USB, then I could have used one plug with four USB outlets on it, and then it would have only taken up one uh, wall outlet total. So other than requiring a lot of outlets, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by this system. Uh, it also has other additional options that I haven't really looked into. There's a little uh, note here saying contact closure, which I think indicates that you can also hardwire if you so wanted to instead of using these wireless uh, transmissions. So very, very cool. Very happy with the system. And yeah, that's it.